Alright, let's dive into acute kidney injury. Acute kidney injury, let's break down what that means. Acute refers to uh, some sort of problem that is sudden uh, and reversible as opposed to chronic, which is something that's been happening maybe over the last six months or something the patient may live with for the rest of their lives. Kidney injury. When I say injury, I'm not necessarily referring to uh, someone getting stabbed in the kidney, but I mean the kidney as an organ itself is not functioning at 100%. Signs that's not functioning at 100% would be uh, increased uh, waste products in the blood. Uh, the kidney's purpose is to uh, filter out waste in the blood as well as to control the fluid levels of the blood. So if you have increased waste, such as found with increased BUN or increased creatinine, which are found with uh, blood labs, then that's a sign that the kidneys aren't doing their job. Also, if you have decreased urine output because they're having difficulty um, managing the fluid levels. And in fact, that can actually go both ways. You can have too much, they're just not just letting it dump out. Now, what causes the kidneys to become damaged? There are three causes, or three categories. Let's look at my diagram first. So here we have the arteries that are supplying the kidneys. Here you have the kidneys themselves, and then you have the urinary system, which is the ureter's bladder and urethra, and then the rest of the way out. So these three are going to be the three different categories for acute kidney injury. Pre-renal refers to something that's uh, caused the injury that happened before the kidneys. When I say before, I'm talking something with the blood flow. So this would be something causing ischemia to the kidneys. So if that would be an example, if you have ischemia to kidneys from a blood clot from due to septic emboli or a DVT, if you have decreased cardiac output, uh, say after a heart attack or something to do with CHF, or decreased um, blood pressure due to shock, septic shock, or some sort of traumatic shock or burn shock. Intrarenal has to do with the kidneys themselves. This is where you see the injury. Something traumatic happened directly to the kidney. Or if you have medications that are um, toxic to the kidney and they're in high supplies in the blood, such as vancomycin or gentamicin, that's why you have to do the peaks and troughs. If those levels are too high, it'll damage the kidney itself. Or infection that is in the kidney, such as glomerular nephritis. Now, I told you earlier, pre-renal has to do with ischemia. Well, stenosis is another form of ischemia. That is where the artery itself, right where it connects to the kidney, is narrowed. And um, they go ahead and categorize that as intrarenal because it has to do with the kidney itself. Post-renal refers to something in the urinary system here. So something is blocking it, so there's an urinary obstruction, so the kidneys are no longer able to push out urine. They back up and they don't work. That could be to a kidney stone, or say there's a spinal injury and you can no longer use the muscles to empty the bladder. These are examples of urinary obstructions that could lead to acute kidney injury. So um, diagnosis for these. Uh, you can do ultrasounds to look for urinary stones. You can do uh, look at the patient's history if they just got in a car wreck and they're not really able to use their legs and they can't urinate. Well, it could be that they can't use this muscle. If they are um, septic and their blood pressures are dropping, it could be due to shock and it could be pre-renal. So you just kind of have to look at what's going on with the patient. Um, infection, you can do blood cultures. If it's trauma, well, maybe they have a pencil sticking out of their side. So. What can we do as nurses? Uh, what's the treatment? You have to just treat these based off of what you find out the problem is or what the doctor finds out the problem is. If the problem is low blood pressures, they may need fluid boluses or uh, medicines to raise their blood pressures uh, or something to get rid of the shock. If the problem is infection, they might need antibiotics. If the problem is medications, you need to hold those medications. If it's urinary obstruction, you got to pull the obstruction out. So uh, some nursing interventions for these. If it's something to do with uh, pre-renal, you want to monitor your CVP, central venous pressure. This is a measure of the blood pressure to see how much perfusion is going to the organs. That's one thing you want to do. Um, with intrarenal, you want to be sure to watch for nephrotoxic medications. Um, you want to make sure you educate patients about taking their antibiotics uh, to the complete extent of the antibiotics. Uh, if it's uh, post-renal, you want to maybe strain the urine, see if you can get any uh, urine stones, urinary stones to come out, kidney stones. You want to monitor their input and output so you make sure how much urine they're producing. And so acute kidney injury as a whole, really, you got to figure out what's the cause. You'll see it all the time, but there's so many causes for it that no picture is really ever the same. So best thing to do with acute kidney injury is break it down and figure out where the cause is. And once you know the cause, and then treat that cause specifically.